Welcome back to Kalesti. This is the second beta update for my new pack, Kalesti. Uh, and today we're actually going to be in game as opposed to just in the menus, going over some new stuff that I've designed for the pack over the last few days. Um, so, the main topic of interest for today is to do with GUI or the um, graphic user interface of the game. Now, there obviously are quite a number of blocks that have an interface. As you can see, we've listed out all the ones that come to mind here, uh, as well as obviously the creative inventory and the survival inventory. Uh, and as you can see here, there is a very, very simple rule I've gone for for each of these. Make it more square, because I think it looks nicer, and also make it a lot darker as well. Now, this isn't just a very, very simple, just hue shift uh, from the previous situation. It is actually just a more complex situation of me picking out some nice colors that go together, uh, and then using those to create the inventory space as you can see it just there uh, another theme as well is that if you have like item pictures in things like this like the brewing stand the enchantment table the loom uh, then there's actually another color for that which makes it very very light as well because i'm not a massive fan of having the item textures be here uh, you know for example why aren't the two maps there why isn't there like a cold symbol here? You know, it's a bit inconsistent, but Minecraft is very inconsistent as we know. Um, so I might even just remove these things and completely, uh, but for now there are some little icons there that are very light just to help you know what to do if you are that dumb. But yeah, um, so as you can see here, we have the double chest, we have the grindstone, we have the hopper, uh, the loom. Once again, we have the bone meal returning for a little thing there because I think that looks funny. Uh, shulker box, smoker, and of course a stone cutter as well. Um, so yeah, so th this process was pretty easy. I just simply had to go in and change the GUIs. The kind of more complex thing was changing each of the... Um, you know, words in the lang file to have the white syntax. So in other words, all of the words that you see in these GUIs are actually originally like a dark gray, which is kind of what the background is. So you have to go into the lang files and um, use, use you know, these symbols here. I'm just going to go to the desktop right now because, yeah. So basically there's these little symbols that you put before um, the words and it makes it white. It's a little squiggly thing and then an F. Uh, and that will make it so that text in game appears to be white, as you will see just here. So there you go. It's, it's very good. Another thing I've done as well is actually do some very minor uh, default features for Optify. And as you can see here, we have a wall of ores. Um, right now, I have this feature called Natural Blocks On, which basically means that when you look at a large space of blocks like these grass, for example, the game will actually try and uh, flip the texture 180 degrees and mirror it and then f uh, spin it around in all directions, basically just to give the the game like a more natural look and you can kind of see if you look at the grass for long enough you can see that the blocks aren't all exactly the same they are facing slightly different ways uh, and it does create a more natural looking effect now this usually applies to the ores in a certain way um, it would try and flip the ores from side to side and upside down um, but never both at the same time I don't think um, but yeah I've just completely removed all functionality for that as well. So if you do have natural blocks turned on, which I believe is on by default in Optifine, so most people probably will have it turned on, uh, then your ores will still look like this, like they are completely untouched by that feature because I think that the ores look nice the way they're supposed to be. Obviously, we're going to be changing all of the ores and the stones in a future video, as well as a lot of the things to do with the uh, specifics of the interfaces and also the blocks themselves. Everything I'm showing you in, the, in these videos, by the way, is all work in progress. So I'm kind of, I'm trying to work through all the things in a, in a, in a sort of order. Um, so yeah, it's, it's good stuff. Um, but yeah, so one thing I did want to show as well, which I'm really pleased with, is the beacon GUI. Uh, now, obviously, as you can see, we do have different textures for the actual beacon images, as you can see. Uh, usually what you would have is you would have like the full pyramid, but the bottom part is like grayed out. I've just simply chosen to abandon that way of doing it and have like an actual image of a beacon, which is, you know, the blocks are three by three pixels. Uh, and then you have like a little blue thing for the beacon and then white for, you know, presumably iron blocks. Um, I did try having it so that it was like iron, gold, emerald, diamond, beacons but i just think it looked better when it was all iron because it just looks a little bit a little bit nicer in my opinion um so yeah and, and also another one as well is the brewing stand where this little kind of cable that goes down from the blaze powder up to here actually now has a texture which kind of looks a little bit like the blaze powder when it's sort of like melted down inside the brewing stand i just, I just think it looks really nice i think it just adds to the overall look of the GUI. Uh, I will be adding more features like this to uh, some of the other ones. For example, I have some ideas for the cartography table, uh, the enchantment table, maybe even the crafting table as well, uh, but I'll come back to those in a later update. You can also see as well with the like crafting button as well, I've actually left that thing for now as well, uh, simply because I do want to do some new textures for books in general. Um, so it'll be interesting to come back and change this when those book textures are complete. So once again, this is not working at all. Obviously, Calesti is still not yet available for download. Um, 
but yeah, I'm I'm doing things. I'm getting there, so it's all it's all going nicely. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. A little spoiler for an upcoming SGT update in the background, just there. Uh, there will be another Blood Moon stream probably tomorrow in the daytime. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, probably tomorrow in the daytime. So, yeah. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little update for Calesti, and you can look forward to some more um, heavy features in the future. Items, blocks, mobs, that kind of thing. It's all coming, so don't worry about that. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and a oh, bye-bye.